I recognize the gentleman from Arkansas for two minutes. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I thank the gentleman. Um, Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the resolution because it allows the NIH to continue to operate at the FY13 funding levels until mid-December. The bill mirrors the clean CR that our friends across the aisle and Senate Democrats have said they'll support. It should be supported by all members of Congress. As you've heard, Mr. Speaker, the NIH's mission is to invest in basic biomedical research to uncover new knowledge that can lead to life-saving cures for disease like pancreatic cancer, like Alzheimer's, diabetes. It supports 35,000 research grants at over 3,000 institutes and universities across our country. In my home state of Arkansas, Mr. Speaker, the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences is one such institute, and just this morning, UAMS Cancer Institute announced a new collaboration with Highlands Oncology. It will undoubtedly bring incredible opportunity to Arkansas, our research, and our ca cancer patients. As many as my colleagues know, two-thirds of NIH's staff has been furloughed due to the lapse in appropriations. NIH has been forced to shut down the pipeline for finding future life-saving cures and has shut off all systems that support grant review, leaving our researchers with many uncertainties. That's where this resolution comes in. Federal funding is essential to sustaining the mission of improving health through scientific breakthroughs and maintaining international leadership in biomedical research, which is why we must allow the NIH to stay open while we continue to work toward regular order and through funding the rest of our federal government. I urge my colleagues to support this critical legislation, legislation on which our scientists, our doctors, our patients, and our futures depend. And I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas yields back. The gentleman from Georgia reserves. The gentlelady from Connecticut.